I'm Jay, we got Steve behind the camera. This is the Heads Up Show, and today we are talking about a, what, a Facebook question, Steve? So Luke Cero is writing in from France. As a matter of fact, they are on the Toulouse Bears. Or maybe Bears? Uh, ooh, know. I don't know. Uh, Luke wants to know if there's something wrong with his face mask because he's looking at his teammate's face mask, and it looks like it fits nice and snug around the curvature of the yeah. helmet, where his has like a gap. What do you think of that? We see a lot. Yeah, we, we see sure pretty do. much everything. We, if there's a way for a face mask to be damaged, we've seen it. We know about it many, many times. So to have a little bit of a gap that is more than the guy next to you on the bench or on the field is not unreasonable whatsoever. Steve, you showed me these pictures, and I got to say, there's nothing on there that jumps out at me to saying, hey, wait a second, red flags, you need to get that face mask off the helmet right away. If that face masks were received by us in the reconditioning process, it would pass. There's no issues with it. However, there are, it is something to be aware of that you want to be checking out your equipment as regularly as possible to make sure if anything's out of line and you don't feel safe with it, you want to get it off the field right away and get something new on there. So this particular face mask I think is, is fine. If it was a little bit more out there, like maybe another eighth of an inch or so out, now we're starting to get into the territory. I mean, you know, it's a gray area where you want, might want to reject that face mask or get a new face mask. But I don't see anything on that face mask or that helmet that, that makes me, you know, concerned. Okay. I mean, in this case, the face mask is on a large Riddell speed. Who knows? His team might have an XL, which is a larger shell, which sure. would close that gap in. So we went around and we looked at all, a bunch of the helmets that we have here. We have a ton of speeds, obviously, here in the shop, and we basically saw a huge range of masks or a huge range of gaps, not only from one helmet to another helmet where some of the masks look like they fit nice and snug up at the top and other ones have a pretty decent sized gap, but even on the same helmet, the right or the left side might be two, three, five times more of a gap than the other. Literally, I can put my finger completely in one side and I can barely get it anything in the other side. So that tells me, you know, this isn't NASA, this isn't aerospace standards that these things are made for. If they were, these things would cost a hundred times more than they do. Great question. We love it when we get questions like this because this says, hey, guys are paying attention to stuff. And it's fantastic because everybody should be paying attention to this stuff, whether it's an issue with anywhere from your shoes to your, you know, your chin strap, whatever it is, you want to make sure that your stuff is uh, the way that it's supposed to be, you feel safe and you're getting the protection that you, that you need. Especially when American football is really growing, crazy growing in these other countries. So go Bears. Yes. Have a great season. Let's get some victories. So, and uh, thanks for the question. Luke, yeah, big thanks for the question. If you want to see more videos like this, leave your comments below, uh, leave questions below. Click the notification bell. Au revoir.